All right, all right, all right. Let's try and uh, talk about this. Um, today we're going to talk about a problem that we want to solve. That's usually what we do, either as riggers or pipeline TDs or anything with technical. Um, in this case, I'm going to talk about how we can actually eliminate one of the biggest hurdles there is in a lot of pipelines. And uh, basically uh, what we experience a lot when we set up, I'm sitting and look developing my character and then I send on my uh, scene. I saved it on a different computer and then I was uh, on this where I wanted to light it. And then uh, I realized that I got an error and the error was warning. This texture is no longer existing. Uh, it's on this. We're looking at this uh, directory, but uh, we can't find it. And that's what happens when you're sitting and you look develop and then you save out the character and then you want to like me take it uh, to another computer or you're sending it down to a pipeline you know you realize that suddenly one of your textures is uh, saved out in some uh, directory where your uh, lighting artist can't reach it and that happens quite often and it's very common and uh, but we can do some things about that because we don't want to deal with that every time we have to um release a character that we have to release it like four times because we don't know where our textures are and we keep on getting errors so in this case what we've done is we've written this tool that's called the texture manager there are similar tools online in this case i've just written a simple one so everybody can follow along uh, so in this case if i hit analyze scene for files we're going to get these two uh, texture files and basically the two texture files are the one that i have on the eye here so i've just used um I was using AL Surface Shader, but I'm just sitting down to like um, blend so we can actually see what's going on in this scene. So in this case, you can see I have a, a file hooked up here and it's giving me this um, cornea diffuse. It's in the uh, bipedal rigging texture eyes cornea diffuse um, layout. And the same thing for this uh, skin here. We have the same, but it's in a different kind of, uh, file called face skin. And basically what I want to do uh, is when I publish my rig, I want uh, all the, uh, I publish my character, I want all the uh, file textures to be in the same directory. So the, the whole scene is only looking for one directory. So basically what I'll do here is uh, I'll go in and I'll select um, this Lambert here and I'll just gonna go in here and I'm gonna say, give me this whole path. And then I'm just going to go into that path. So I'm already there. So I'm going to go into face skin. I'm just going to go into textures here. So I'm underneath the uh, Mononym lectures, biped rigging, render texture. So underneath here, I'm just going to create a new folder called publish folder. So I'm done texturing my character in the face and all and whatever. Let's say that I'm just done. I'm going to say open that. That's fine. So now I have that new publish folder here. So once I'm in that, I can duplicate that, that path. So now I know that this is where I want all my textures to go. So I close that one without saving anything. I just don't want to change anything. So I paste that in here. So that's in my new uh, file path here. Then with these two selected, you know, I can deselect them, but I can select both of them here. So I drag over those two. So I select both of them and then I say copy files. And what we can see now is that if we go into that publish folder, we'll have these two, even though they before were in their separate um, even though they were in the separate uh, directories before, now they're all copied in. So if you had 30 different kind of positions on your drive, it took both the, uh, it would take all 30 and just paste them into the same publish folder. Uh, and then the next thing is with those selected again, or you know, keep on selecting them, just say set path. And you can see it sets the path and it updates uh, the texture here. So now all my textures, even my eye, my eye here underneath this texture here, is looking into the actual cornea diffuse uh, and so sorry into the publish folder so all my textures are now uh, both looking all the texture files in my scene are now looking into the same texture uh, into the same folder so now when i publish my character i can just uh, redirect uh, my lighting artist or whoever is going to do that to that specific folder and that's where all my scripts are going to be so in this uh, scripting tutorial we're going to build this whole tool and how to set it up and um, i'm basically going to take you through the whole part of the code it's it's not that long a code but it's um it's actually only this, right? So about 120 lines of code, and we're going to talk uh, about Sublime Text. We're going to talk a lot about um, uh, classes. There's going to be a little bit about dictionaries. Uh, so it's a very good uh, introduction because, but I would say you have to have some kind of, you have to have done like a script before. I wouldn't say, you don't have to do like a whole lot of scripting. Um, if you haven't done any scripting at all, then I'd suggest that you do the free tutorials I've already done. Um, if you um if you if you if you if you've done those then you're definitely ready to do this uh, this course so hopefully i'll see you in there uh, I'll, I'll, um, 
I look forward to the teaching. And uh, if you have any questions, then uh, feel free to just uh, write me immediately. So uh, I look forward to hear from you guys. And uh, see you inside the course and uh, have a great day.